Hi, this is Rob Wilcox again. Just wanted to give you another demo of a registry key that Outlook users sometimes have deployed on their machine. It's called Disable PST, as you can see up here in my registry editor. So it's set to zero at the moment here, so let's pretend that it doesn't exist there. If I open Outlook, what you'll see with Disable PST is, first of all, with it not set, if I go into here, you can see that I can open another Outlook data file. I can open non-archived items and I can open archived items. So with it not set, it's not active, obviously. If I also if I go into control panel, go into the mail applet, uh, email accounts, data files, add, I can add a PST file here as well. Okay, so now if I close Outlook, go back to my registry and set disable PST to 1 and here you can see it's in HKE current user software Microsoft Office 14.0 because I'm using Outlook 2010 Outlook and the key is called disable PST set it to 1. If I now open Outlook what we can see now is if I go into file open this can't open a PST file anymore. I can still open non-archived items and most importantly I can still open archived items. So if I close Outlook now and I go into control panel into the mail applet email accounts data files add you can see that I can't add a PST file so essentially what Disable PST does stops me as a user creating new PST files or accessing old PST files but it has no effect on Enterprise Vault archived items or Virtual Vault, Vault Cache, any aspect of EV. hope that helps. Disable PST is something that um, gets pushed out quite often to stop users um, using PST files so hopefully now you know that it does have, doesn't have any effect on Enterprise Vault. It might be something that you and your organization use. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.